so welcome guys again and today our topic is culture media so culture basically mean to grow something such as some seeds or bacteria and media is a place or a surface or medium in which we grow our bacteria or seeds so question arise here why we need to grow a bacteria so for answer you can understand with this example you are going to a jungle walk and you find some seeds you does not know what type they seeds they may be seeds of fruits some vegetable so know that what type they seeds you have to first of all to grow it so you soil it into soil after some time you see oh this is seeds of vegetables known as a lady finger in a similar way if you have an infection or injury some bacteria may be can occur in your body for that you have to grow it first of all so that you can research on it bacteria are cultured so that they help to identify easily and we give specific treatment against that bacteria to the patient so if we know about definition so in a laboratory we give artificial suitable environment for the growth of microorganisms such as ph nutrition pepton meat extract etc and now we talk about the history of culture media so first liquor culture media is invented by louis pasteur father of the microbiology as a urine and meat growth after that of some time robert koch father of bacteriology used a cook cut potato for the solidification of the media and he also used gelatin who is not satisfactory for result because gelatin become liquid at 24 degrees celsius and we grow our bacteria at 37 degrees celsius now we talk about the invention so most important invention which make go gold mark on the microbiology is agar agar powder so basically it is invented or suggested by lady frau hesse who is the wife of one of the investigation in the cox laboratory so now question is there why this is worldwide accepted because it having a so many features so that's why worldwide accepted it become solid at 42 degrees celsius and melted at 90 degrees celsius it does not have any nutrition value so for the solidification we put 2% or 2% concentration of this agar and it obtained from the sea weeds or the sea algae classification of culture media so for the classification we have a three types first is based on agar concentration another is based on ingredient in the media we use another is based on oxygen requirement of the culture media so we discuss about the concentration of agar so we have a solid look and semi solid you can see in the picture so when we talk about a solid it contain 2% concentration of agar powder and the advantage that bacteria is identify easily because it going to be pure growth but disadvantage is that it take more time 24 hour to one day example is blood agar chocolate agar because it contain agar so any media complete with agar come in a solid now in a liquid we does not add any agar so it remain liquid advantage growth appear very fastly 4 to 6 hour disadvantage that no identification vector is occur because we see mixed growth and media is that media with end with broth or water such as pepton broth or newton broth in a semi solid media we add 0.2 to 0.5 concentration of agar powder and it is used mainly for the to check the motility of bacteria whether the bacteria is motile or not now based on oxygen requirement we divide into aerobic media and anaerobic media so aerobic as a name suggest the bacteria who utilize oxygen and grow best in oxygen come under the aerobic media and anaerobic media are the culture media used for the bacteria which cannot grow in the presence of oxygen so mostly the uh, media are oxygen or aerobic media but for the anaerobic we have a rcm robertson cooked beans board which contain meat particle which utilize oxygen and create anaerobic another is thiagloid medium which contain 1% thiagloid which reduce oxygen and this media basically used for clostridium species because it is strictly anaerobic another we have based on ingredient we have a simple media complex media defined media and special media so one by one we discuss all first of all discuss about the simple media so as a name suggest is con it contain basic or simple ingredient such as 
in case of neutron broth and neutron nadar the component or the composition is pepton meat extract nacl water and ph 7.2 to 7.4 and in addition to that if we put 2% agar it become neutron agar from neutron broth advantage is that it is used routinely in the diagnostic laboratory it is also used to maintain the stock culture now that we have a complex media as the name suggests in addition to basic media if we add some extra nutritional substance it become a complex media such as we add blood egg or serum in case we add blood it become blood agar if we add egg algae media or longstan jensen media and if we add serum it become a lockler serum slop so these are category under the you can see in the picture another we have a defined media so it is also known as synthetic media as a word synthetic so they are purely made of chemical substance and as a word defined so the substance it contain in a exact concentration so take example of pepton water in which we have pepton 1% and nacl 0.5% it is mainly used for the research purpose that's why we use the exact con concentration in addition to we have a some other term semi defined media as a name suggests semi defined so the concentration is not exact but it is on approximate concentration so another we have a special media so this is the important remind this media so this media contains some special substance which help to grow the bacteria specially so the category is enrichment media enriched media selective media indicator media differential media and transport media so first of all we discuss about the enrichment media so enrichment basically it is liquid in nature that's why also called as liquid selective media because it favor the growth of particular bacteria either by adding some enrichment substance to that or by adding inhibitory substance which slow down the growth of unwanted or unnecessary bacteria example we have a tetrathionate growth which contain a inhibitory substance called as bile salt which inhibit the growth of coliform and gram negative and help to grow the salmonella so it is enrichment for salmonella selenotype growth which contains selenite which inhibit the gram positive and gram negative but not the salmonella and shigella another we have alkaline pepton water in which alkaline ph enhances the growth of vibrio cholera now we discuss about enriched media so in enriched media basically it's solid in nature remind this solid in nature enriched or solid so in a simple media if we have some enriched some substance or additional to one or more nutritional substance it become a enriched media such as blood egg glucose we support the growth of wanted pathogen such as blood agar for streptococcus species chocolate agar for hemophilus influenza and lofler simsor is selective for the diphtheria growth you can see in the picture another we have a selective media so as the name says selective so this media contains substance that enhance the growth of some selective organism and slow down the growth of other bacteria such as tc tcbs thiosulfate sulfate bile salt sucrose agar which contain thiosulfate and bile salt which inhibit the growth of enterococcus and gram positive alkaline ph enhance the growth of vibrio this is the selective for the vibrio cholera another is algae media launston jensen media which is selective for mycobacterium tuberculosis it contain a di malachite green which avoid the contaminant and hence the growth of mycobacterium tuberculosis another we have a indicator media so indicator media this media contains some indicator that change color when bacteria grow in them so example in indicator media we have a wilson blair media in which sulfide change into sulfide which is black metallic sheen by the growth of salmonella typhi you can see in the picture and another we have a based on blood agar in a blood agar we have indication of hemolysis such as alpha beta gamma hemolysis you can see in the picture by the streptococcus species another type we have a differential media so differential media as a name suggests this media which have to distinguish between the bacteria so in which example we have a mcconkey agar which dis distinguish based on the lactose fermentation some bacteria show pink color which are lacto fermenting some are colorless which is non lacto fermenting you can see in the picture another we have a transport media so as a name suggests transport it is used to transport the organism to the laboratory from the collecting area 
and the transfer media contain buffer and basically it is non nutritional it basically preserve the particular type of bacteria and prevent the unwanted growth of bacteria in example we have a carry blade media which is transport media for salmon shigella and vibro cholera another we have a stewart medium which is transport for gonococci so i hope you understand all this thing one question for you and the question is that which media is differential media as well as a indicator media